You can now follow me on all my social media platforms to find out who my latest guest will be. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notifications button so you're notified for when my next podcast goes live. I started boxing at 19, 18, so it's not been in the boxing that long in regards to a lot of a lot of other fighters. Um how to reach where I'm at, sixth in the world. In, in, in some organisations it's, it's, it's crazy, it's crazy. Yeah. I probably didn't understand it I just knew that I'd lost my brother my big brother my, my, my role model in life I suppose and I didn't really didn't really get it I just knew that he wasn't there no more and then the more when I got older and I got to understanding your brother got your brother got killed he got shot I think I was crying well I was crying actually and I, and I was sat where my brother died because he only died 20 seconds from where I live you can walk there I was sat on the um I must have had a bit of an argument with my mum or maybe. And I've, I've, I've gone and sat where my brother died and I was sat there. I lost my best friend when I was 16. He got stabbed and I know. Um, that, I, can, I, can, I don't know because I never asked, but I can imagine that my mum hearing that like, would have thought, maybe, maybe, you know what I mean? Maybe you can relax. And, I, and I was, like I said, I was stupid, so I was probably getting in fights. It's easy to just sit in bed every day or-, or, or Smoke actually, weed, yeah, yeah? Yeah, 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 or not get up, or it's easier to go and just start selling drugs. That's that's an easy life mm -hmm. to do what, not even just what I'm doing, but to be a sportsman in itself, or to do to do anything, in fact, anything, own yeah. a business, even to what you're doing, it's, 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 it's an achievement and, yeah. it, and it's hard to do. Boom, we're on. Yes, and okay, today's guest, we've got boxer. Lydon, how are you, brother? I'm good, brother, I'm good. I'm good, good, mate. Good. Yeah, yeah, Felt yeah. great result last time. He is, he is. Yeah? Yeah. Lyndon Affera, Manchester, killing it. <laughs> we're here, we're here. Huh? We're here, we're here. We're getting there. First of all, mate, congratulations on your last one. You were a massive <laughs> underdog yeah. against Yardy. Powerful hitter, yeah. great boxer as well. But now you're, people are now calling you, the be, you've got the best jab in the world. They know. It's, 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 it's overwhelming. It's nice. It's nice to hear though, isn't it? Like you, you train, you train for so long to to get to, to, to different points in your career. And when you, when you, when it's finally happening, it's like, it's, it's achievable now. Yeah. You know I mean, like, like, like the world, the world title and, and, and stuff like that, it's not too far away anymore. Is that your top 10 now? Is that what? Ranked, your top 10 ranked now? Yeah, yeah. I think I'd be to fair. I, I think I was been for a minute. Like I think I was maybe eight or nine, mm -hmm. maybe 10. Four boxing. Now I'm either six or, or, or four, but I'm top ten in, in the ring magazine as well. That's a, it's a thing that it, I, I, I forgot that you could even get ranked in. Yeah. And then I got I seen this thing on Twitter like top ten and seen my name at the bottom. I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Where? Eighteen and all. Eighteen. Yeah. Eighteen. It's f phenomenal what you're achieving. Still only twenty nine. Do you think you fight better when you're underdog? Um. Do you know what? I don't. It's not nothing that I really. I, I, I don't really because I don't, I don't feel I don't feel like an underdog. Um, with the yard fight, I never ever believed that I was gonna lose. Um, I knew it was a dangerous fight. I knew the chance that you can get knocked out, but I didn't think I was gonna lose. So it didn't really affect me. It was kind of like oh, it's kind of fun. It was kind of it was kind of fun position to be in because there's no there's no real pressure. There's no there's no I have to do this or I have to do that. It's just you gotta win mm -hmm. and that's it. And that's what we do anyway as, as, yeah. as, as a fighter as a boxer. So. This is, you know, it's, you know, it's what it is. Yeah, you must be getting a lot of support coming from the tough streets of Manchester to now. You're achieving big things now. You're moving on to yeah. next level. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting there. And, yeah, and we're not finished yet, but I'm, I'm getting there, and, and it is nice to to, to know that. Um, I started boxing at 19, 18, so it's I'm not been in the boxing that long, in regards to a lot of a lot of other fighters. Um, how to reach where I'm at, sixth in the world. In, in in some organisations, it's it's, it's crazy, it's crazy. Yeah, so a late starter as well to then get to these heights, but that shows you anybody watching that you can make changes yeah, yeah, at any yeah, age. Yeah, yeah. There's no there's no there's no real age to to, to when you start because when I was when I was probably 15, 16, 17 or later, I didn't know what I was gonna do. Yeah, I didn't I didn't know. I had mm -hmm. no idea. So in my head, when I was when I was 13, 14, I wanted to, or 12, 13, 14, I wanted to be a barrister. It's like uh, yeah. it's, some friends used to laugh. When, <laughs> friends used to laugh yeah. when I said that, but yeah. I don't. But to, to me, I've heard like barristers earn a lot of money, 
and doing in 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 like the world of crime and stuff like yeah. that, and, yeah, and it's interesting. Mm -hmm. So that's why I wanted to do when I was, when I was younger, and then when I got to seventeen, it's like eighteen. Yeah, let's go gym. and it's came into your yeah, boxing. Yeah, yeah, now it's yeah. your blood, and now yeah. you're p potentially going to be yeah. world champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. It's, it is. I always go back to the start with my guest brother, where you grew up and how it all began. Yeah, um, Mostyn. Is because you know I live with my mum, um, great woman, great woman. I've never, as I said, I've said that a million times. Like I never, I never, like I never got brought up struggling, like in regards to to to, to eating and stuff like that. It's not that deep, it's not that deep in regards to that, but we, we you know, Mustin and, and Lightburn, where I came from, it's in a, it's in a state where. A lot, of, a lot of things happen. A lot, of, a lot of drugs selling. A lot, of, a lot of stolen cars. A lot of stolen. Like, just a lot of things that I suppose you, you, you see on on the estate, and and it would have been easy to 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 You're doing that route. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's easy because all your friends are doing it. All your friends are selling um, drugs. All your friends are stealing cars. All your friends are doing you know the wrong the wrong stuff to yeah. do. So. It, it would have been a lot easier. Was it tough schooling and stuff then? Not so much tough, but it's like, like I said, I, I, I never grew up. Like, I, when I, my brother, he, 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 when I was young, um, he always looked after me. My mum always looked after me. My dad, was, you know, um, always, always looked after me. So I think we had to grow up tough. It was just like, it was a, case, a case of do what your friends do. You know what I mean? In school, school was I got I got kicked out of school. Well, I did get kicked out of school. Sorry. Yeah, um, what for? Yeah, 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 I got kicked out of fighting. school. Fighting. Even fighting, I was just one. I was just like I was just easily easily led. You know what I mean? I didn't really even do nothing to to, to in my in my eyes. Obviously, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, really we never. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, it wasn't me. It wasn't yeah. me. <laughs> but now, nah, um, it's just like it's probably just a case of different things building mm -hmm. up and just messing about constantly and constantly and constantly. Like, school probably just had enough. Yeah. It's like, uh, Go on, mm -hmm. go on, so when you obviously we'll touch on it straight away because I know you won your last fight you dedicated it to your brother yeah every fight you every lost fight. your brother to yeah. murder when yeah. you were only 10 yeah. how did that play a massive part on your life not to go down the same route to then yeah. make any um, changes it probably affected me it's my, it probably affected me more when I was older because when I was 10 I, I probably didn't understand it I just knew that I'd lost my brother my big brother my, my, my role model in life I suppose and I didn't really, I didn't really get it. I just knew that he wasn't there no more. And then the more, when I got older and I got to understanding, your brother got, your brother got killed, he got shot. Um, you kind of, you kind of like, you'll go through that stage as a teenager. It's like, you think you're bad. You think you can do everything. You're, like, you're either, you kind of want to know because you think you're going to do something if you find out. So it probably, that's probably why I ended up started smoking weed and ended up started, doing yeah. nonsense, you know what I mean? And, and and probably get arrested a few times and stuff like that. So yeah, probably played a part more as to when I got older rather than younger. Yeah, because it's a getaway, isn't it? When you start smoking weed or creating violence, that's a scream out for help that yeah. you're struggling with something yeah. because we don't know how to deal with yeah. trauma, yeah. especially at 10 years yeah. old. Yeah. You're thinking you're not really, you're just blossoming in life. Yeah. And if you're getting brought up in that environment, it is easy so fast to want revenge. Yeah. Even now that your yeah, life yeah, is yeah, flying, yeah. you'll still think, because I've lost family members and yeah. friends to murder and shit, and you always, revenge always crosses yeah. your mind yeah. for some reason. No matter how yeah, well yeah, you're doing, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Like, when you're such a young age, you don't know the difference, but then when you hit 12, 13, yeah, 14, yeah. you start understanding yeah, it, and yeah, then you yeah, probably yeah. think, I'm a bad man, yeah, yeah, because yeah, you yeah, think, yeah. it's weird that being coming from a rough area that, that becomes a norm in life, yeah. which is scary that young kids think it's normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not yeah, normal yeah. to go through that trauma and pain. It's not normal yeah, to go not, through that not, not. misery because you'll still battle with those yeah, thoughts every day. I'm, I'm not really a talker. Like, I'll be on the air talking now. Yeah. But like, in regards to my own issues or problems or I'm thinking or something, you don't, you don't really know that I'm going through. I just, yeah. I just plod along and I just, I just do all right. Yeah. So how did you deal with it when you were 14, 15, 16? Did you get into a gang yourself? Not really a gang, but just, you're just a, not a gang. I won't say a gang. I just a, just a bunch of friends and we just, we just do what people Stupid do. Stupid shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, 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 it looks fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? Doing, doing mm -hmm. the, 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 the smoking and the 
Mm-hmm. So everyone's in the car, rubbing cars. You go on these, <coughs> you go out on the estate every day because you've heard a motorbike going round that you know might be stolen, and you, everyone's at the bottom of the estate, and everyone's have taking turns, or the car might be stolen doing numbers mm-hmm. at the bottom of the estate. That was just fun. How did that affect your mum and dad losing your brother? Um, my mum, not my, my ain't got the same dad. All right, so cool. It's a bit different, but my mum, mm-hmm. um, yeah, tough. Yeah, yeah. Does she still battle with it? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> <clears throat> I believe so. I believe so. Um, but uh, as you would, though. I've, yeah. I've, I've, I've that would never go away. Yeah, I've got kids now, so I understand that. I, I couldn't even imagine the, 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 I, I, what I felt, and it's my brother, so I, losing his yeah. son, um, that would be it's, it's trauma. Yeah, like, of course. That's something that you never get over. You only ever get used to it, and you know yourself, you only ever get used to somebody not being there, you never get used mm-hmm. to them being gone. Um you never go over. <clears throat> you never go over the fact that they're gone. It's like, and then you obviously see pictures of them every day, and it's like you, you think of them twenty four seven. Subconsciously, you even think mm-hmm. of them twenty four seven. Because even though you're doing amazing things, even though you won the yard fight, when you're looking up at the sky, your brother's still getting mentioned. So yeah. even though your mum's proud of you, yeah, it still yeah, brings yeah. back the memories yeah, of, of that. So it is of difficult that. Like, your mum will be so proud that yeah, yeah, you've yeah. gave her the light and yeah, something yeah. to look forward to in life when she's walking down to the shops people will be yeah, asking yeah, about yeah, you yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what it's all about yeah. do you know yeah. what I mean all the other shit that comes externally it doesn't really mean yeah. fuck all we spoke earlier and we yeah. say that like people saying how well we are doing are amazing you don't feel it yeah, because no, you, you know how far yeah, 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 you can yeah, go yeah. you want to go you're yeah. not, not even nearly mm-hmm. touch a service somewhere you actually want to be at yeah. and, then, and, and then you know what when you get there you might not even think oh, this is it yeah. this is the case of like you say, making your mum proud and making your kids proud and making your family or, or your friends even. You know, everyone, it's the people that support you, making them proud and and, and, and actually achieving in life. Because like I said a minute ago, it's easier to not achieve. It's easier to not achieve than it is to achieve. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's so, easy to be a bum, yeah, and do exactly. nothing. Exactly. Yeah. It's easy because you mm-hmm. don't have to do anything. Mm-hmm. You could easily just sit in bed every day or... or, or Smoke or, weed, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or not get up or it's easier to go and just start selling drugs. That's, that's an easy life mm-hmm. to do what... Not even just what I'm doing, but to be a sportsman in itself, or to do to do anything. In fact, anything on yeah. a business, even to what you're doing, is it's, it's it's an achievement. And yeah. it's hard to do. Yeah, it's easy to stay in bed. Yeah, it's easy to make it. What is it's hard? It's hard to maintain. Yeah, because yeah. with success becomes all the other issues, lot, all the other things. problems, yeah, 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 yeah. and yeah. there's so many different things come into play. But this is what separates the winners from the losers, yeah. because no matter what gets put in your way. I don't falter. You'll yeah. not falter. We just yeah. we just kick on again. Yeah. We yeah. handle yeah. certain yeah. pressures, yeah. certain situations because the pressure comes yeah. with success, yeah. and it's yeah. difficult. Did your mum, when you were growing up, worry that you could have potentially went down that route? Also, yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Especially when, <clears throat> especially when I'm going out and 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 getting in fights. I lost my best friend when I was sixteen. He got stabbed, and I know um, that. It, I can I can I don't know because I never asked, but I can imagine that my mum hearing that would have thought maybe maybe you know what I mean maybe you can be next and I, and I was like I said I was stupid so I was probably getting in fights every night, most most weekends or come home come home I'd be in bed and my mum come and checking me when I've been out at night and she's like you okay and I'm like yeah 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 I'm fine but mm-hmm. like I wouldn't even knew, I wouldn't even understood then that she was coming in because she's probably worried about where I was the night before kind of thing yeah. so you know as a, as, a, as, a, as a teenager you don't really understand that you probably should be a little bit more mindful of, yeah. of, of in that situation of, of what people might of what your mum might be going through but you don't you, you, be, you don't. become selfish yeah, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you you think we know everything at that yeah, age yeah, yeah, you do. but the traumatic stress and pain that you went through from 10 16 you had every right to have the fuck it button to yeah. then go yeah. I'm just going to become a bad yeah. man. I'm yeah. just going to inflict pain onto others yeah. because you would have been suffering, yeah. not know how to deal with yeah, 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 that yeah. misery. Yeah, 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 do you know yeah. what I mean? You and and those don't, losses, you don't, you don't because understand. we don't get counselling. Yeah, yeah, of course, exactly. I was about to say that you don't, you don't like you don't you don't get told that if you talk about something or anything yeah. like that. So then, in, in in a minute, you get into a rut of, well, this is how I'll be anyway. Yeah, I'll just I'll just deal with it. Mm-hmm. I'll just deal with it, and, and it is what it is. Even but even to this day, now I I. I I can be a little bit selfish in, in, in them aspects of, oh, well, I've been through worse, so I don't understand why you're feeling like that until something I've done. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? It's like, 
Oh, it's not that bad. Yeah. yeah I've, I've been through worse. I've mm-hmm. lost this many people. Yeah. yeah. The pain I've been through is not as bad as what pain I've, I might put you through or, yeah. or I've been through or you've been through, sorry. But everybody's sensitive in different aspects yeah. of life. Some yeah. people are more sensitive than others. Yeah. yeah. And because we've barriers up all the shit and misery that we've put through, we've been through, also put through others. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It comes yeah. with a cost and we don't see how other people are affected by the little things, but they haven't been through yeah, yeah, the yeah, extent. Yeah. So, 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 so what we, what say, for example, say, say you've been in a, in a situation where you might have hurt somebody or, or, or whatever, because that's the, the worst thing they've been through. It's nothing like what you know, our ends, what the, the worst thing we've been through. Yeah. So I would like, you kind of dismiss yeah those, those feelings yeah, because feelings, it's not yeah, as bad yeah. but it's not as bad yeah, yeah. but it is but it is course, yeah. to them it is yeah. but to us it's, or mm-hmm. to me or to, to whoever whoever has been through worse it's not it's not yeah so you kind of you try and brush it off yeah, as you if you be selfish yeah in as if to say it's not that bad pick yourself yeah. up yeah, but really yeah 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 yeah, but if somebody says that to us, there's people been through more trauma than us. Yeah, they'll probably course, think fucking toughen up, going through more yeah, as well. Then. Yeah, yeah. Like, mm-hmm. Okay, it's a constant yeah, battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how? What made you go to the boxing gym then? Were you boxing prior going to gyms? Nah, 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 fitness. Nah. So see, the first time I went, I think I got talking to the gym was by my brother. Actually, um, I must have been about five, six, and he he come to my house and, uh, and got me into the gym in the thought so I was gonna get beat up. This is a fun kind of thing to watch two kids spar and I, and I beat the kid up, chasing him. Around. I remember it's a weird memory because I remember I actually remember chasing the kid. I don't remember much of it, but I remember chasing the kid around the ring. Um, I was probably about five, six then. Obviously, then a few years later, my brother died. <coughs> um, then, like you say, after that, 15, 16, 17, 18, um, I was doing whatever, smoking weed and that. And, and I just, I don't know, I must have just got upset one day and just. Just must have got a bit probably better, bit the better of me, and um, I must have. Been, I think I was crying. Well, I was crying actually, and I, and I was sat where my brother died because he only died twenty seconds from where I live. You can walk there. I was sat on the. Um, I must have had a bit of an argument with my mum, or maybe, and I've, I've, I've gone and sat where my brother died. And I was sat there, my mum, um, mum phone Pat. Can you come and get Lyndon? Is wherever um, and Pat's come and got me from there and, and from there I, I live with Pat for, I took Pat, Pat took me I stayed with him for about a week or two and he took me to a, um, a weight gym because Pat, Pat likes to keep keep fit and that and he, and he took me to the weight gym with him we started doing weights for about a week and then he took me to the boxing gym she introduced me to Brian um, all the boxers were in there all the pros were in there he introduced me to Brian and he's like come on let's box just to just to take my mind off things still yeah um, Started hitting the bag, started training. Brian Hughes said to Pat, like, he could be good him. And it's just like, an, it's just an honour. He, he could be good. Not not proper stare, but just, he could be good. And Pat couldn't see it. Pat's like, eh? Because obviously Pat knew I was just, like, just smoking weed and just coming there to, to literally get off, to get my mind off things. After a bit, I kept training, I kept training, I kept going there. Brian wanted to put some time into me, so Pat said to me, like, look, you you either tell Brian you want to be, I'll keep fit, and you're just doing it to be for fun, or you take it serious. Obviously, I was doing nothing at the time. Um, I had no no, no path, so I was like, all right, I, I, I'll give it a go. And from there, that was it. Okay, I just, just kept going every every day, every day. Stoned, still smoking, still, sm- <laughs> still smoking. There'd be, there'd be times, that, you know, there'd be times that I'd go in the gym, and and stoned, yeah, yeah. sparring stone, you know, all that stuff. I used to go in the gym, and 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 because I'm sweating, because mm-hmm. I'm sweating and the smell of weed. Oh, Coming through to, your yeah, pores. Yeah, yeah, everyone used to laugh. Everyone used to uh, Tommy McDonough, Scott Quigg, uh, Reese Roberts, Matthew Wall, you know, the, Mike Jennings. The, the lot of them used to laugh at me because mm-hmm. I used to just come in like half asleep, just get there on time or a little bit late, strolling with my eyes closed, still sleeping my eyes and just and just and just skip and just get on with it. Yeah, that's 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 how I got into the gym. How did that change you mentally from kind of at a breakdown, breaking point at 19, crying, kind of thinking your life's going nowhere? Yeah. See, I believe, like, I'd done the exact same when I was 30. I kind of broke down after yeah. my 30th party. I'd been on the fucking gear for yeah. three days and just had a breakdown. I was thinking, what am I going with my life? But I think it's like, it's weird that like, you'll get it as well when you've lost people that you love. You feel as if that's them. It's like a sign. They give you, boom, yeah. 
and then something happens yeah, you get a, you kind of yeah, get clarity yeah, 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 yeah. and you kind of go I'm fucking my life up here yeah. you've done it 19 it took me 30 years yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's there's like a moment and for you to then go on from weed potentially it's like you're, it might sound crazy to people but like guardian angels like spirit guides kind of yeah, when yeah, you just yeah, know yeah, yeah. you know you're fucking up but a lot of people ain't bold enough to say oh I'm, my life's a mess yeah. you went 19 obviously you were still smoking but how did that help you from going that kind of breaking down and everything kind of hitting yeah. you that was a 10 year process from losing brothers friends and then 10 years later how did that change you mentally a lot um, but as I say this a lot about boxing but even if even if I never took boxing serious I just was in the gym training and doing whatever and just having fun with it it would have still give me a sense of, of of structure and a sense of of of, of direction. I, I think um, it gives you a sense of it, it allows you to be okay with authority because you have to listen to your coach. And authority is in our life all the time, and that's probably what a lot of people struggle with coming from the estate and whatnot. So, in regards to to, to, to changing, it was, it was great because I also at the same time I'm around I'm around probably people like me as well in in the boxing gym because not ever like your, your gym is on on the estate I'm, i live 20 seconds from the gym so that's on the estate and and these people in the gym that probably did come from a, a same kind of thing as me mm-hmm. so to be around them and to see to see them doing well as well it's like ah uh, i want to be i want to do that i i robin robin reed was there at the time he was huge or, or or just at the back end of being huge, you know what I mean? He's probably just at the back end of his boxing career. So seeing him and seeing how people react to him and stuff like that is it's it's a, it's a great eye, eye opener. Yeah. For somebody of my age, when you when you're eighteen, nineteen, and you're mm. thinking, what what do I want to do? You see them training now. You see the, you see them reaping the rewards and stuff like that. So like, okay, let me let me just let me stop doing what I'm doing. Let me let me focus on let me focus on this and see what I can do with this. How hard was it for you to get off the weed? Oh, weed, yeah, it's hard. It's, it's difficult, yeah, isn't it? It's hard, because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's... I hope cause many it, obstacles are yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's fun, isn't it? Yeah. It's fun, isn't it? <laughs> I'm chilling, you know? Every single one of my friends, every single one of them smoked. Yeah. Every single one of them. So when I stopped, when I initially stopped smoking weed, I had to not be around them mm-hmm. at all. Gym, home, gym, home, yeah. until I actually got to the point where I don't want to spliff no more. That's the hard part. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It's, not, it's, not, it's, it's an addiction, but at the same time, because it's just weed, you think it's not an addiction. Yeah. You think, nah, I can, I can stop yeah. when I want. Yeah, you think because yeah. you're doing no harm. Yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah, yeah. you know yourself, you get in late, you, you kind of does change your mentality, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I had to distance myself from my friends, and I love my friends, but they... they they kind of resent you for it yeah, and it's yeah, not yeah, it's just, yeah, yeah, it's just if I was to puff weed me I put on so much weight yeah, my skin yeah, tone yeah, changes yeah, I'm just yeah, late for everything I've yeah, not got the same yeah, drive yeah, yeah. people can smoke weed and still yeah they can they're still they can. active I know people that do that I'm not that yeah, kind of guy yeah, I'm not that guy do you know what I mean yeah, but I'm, eat, I'm eating cereal at two in the morning yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cold, cold I'm eating fucking yeah, yeah, pizzas yeah, yeah. at six in the morning everything everything that is a difficult one but like when I was starting, I was quit three months, but if I started back again, it was full blown again. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, after yeah, yeah. maybe going out with your friends, watching easy, football. It was easy to do as well. Yeah. Like, I'll go on then. I'll have yeah. half a spliff. And the next thing you know, you're 20, 20, but then it's like, <laughs> fucking hell, like, I'll stop on Monday. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. always Monday you stop. You know, like, I'll smoke for a week and then that's yeah, it. It's six months yeah, passes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And it's like, oh, fuck, let me yeah. again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How, when you started, when did you realise you could have made a career out of it? Was it a short period or did it take time? Um, I don't know. Um, so I'm the first fight when I was 19. I stopped the guy in the first round. I didn't even understood that I stopped him. So that's how that's how like unknown I was to boxing and um and I carried on. You know what? I was probably still smoking when I was probably there was times when I was still in fact I wasn't always I was still smoking when because John um uh, he used to call me iron lungs because he, he was the only one that he was out of the, the family and that, that the only one that knew I smoked or, or around apart from friends and that. Yeah. So I used to be good in the first round. So down in the second, and by the third, I'd be like, ah. mm. <sighs> so he used to call me Iron Lung. So, um, so I was probably still smoking through about my first five or six fights. I'm, I'm amateur. Then I started doing well, started winning. Um, I ended up boxing kids that I've had 30 odd fights when I only had like seven, eight, beat them, got some, some amateur title. 
went in the championships, got to the final of the championships, but I was probably still smoking then as well. Stopped for like two weeks before my fights, what I used to do. Got to a final of beat, got beat. Didn't want to get beat again in, in such a in, in such a final of like a, a championship. So then the next year, had a few fights, got to another final, won on the 20s, it's called uh, National Novices. Went in the ABAs about four months later. So, so with me, at that point, it was a case of, I had to keep my mind focused. So if I, because so because I was kind of big and kind of like strong, I look strong, I couldn't really get amateur fights. So when I wasn't fighting for like, say a month or two, it's like, oh, I'm a spliff, fuck it, yeah. I'm not fighting. So then I think my coach, Tommy, at the time, amateur coach, he got onto that. So after the, straight after the amateur under 20, and obviously is what I won. He's like, right, you're going to go on the ABAs there in March or April. Keep training. What are the ABAs? It's like a, nas- it's like a national championships now. So you're going to be, you're going to fight everyone in, in your country, in, 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 the, in the region, then in the country. He's like, all right. Pat, remember Pat coming and sitting me down. I was like, right, Lyndon, listen, just take six months out of your life. Chill. I don't just f- go, go training, come home. Go training, come home. Focus on boxing. Please, yeah. So I was like, all right, cool. Let's see what it is. Took six months out of my life, did it. Got to the ABA finals. Actually boxed against a guy called Joshua Bawatsi. He's, he's, he's uh, one of the probably one of the best in England as, as, well, as well as I. Um, got to the final, got beat, good for it. Then got called up for GB in Great Britain team. It's like, wow. Probably that, at that point where I was thinking, it probably took to us about 20, 22, 23, 24 when I got called up to think, oh, actually, this might actually work now. I'm, I'm, I'm get, I've got, I've got assessment for to go on a GB. If I get on this, I'm gonna start getting paid. Cause I'm amateur, you don't get paid boxing, but when you get on a GB setup, you start getting paid, and it's like, ah, okay, I can get money from this. Make a living. Yeah, get, yeah, you get can get recognition. It's not, it's not enough to make a living, yeah. but you can, you be getting something. You're getting paid for something you've been doing for a few years, and I've got a penny from. Mm-hmm. So you were still doing whatever. Now I'm getting paid. I'm being around the being around the likes of like probably Andy Joshua, um, a great boxer, Andy Fowler, Joshua Boatsy again, the Olympians, stuff like that. You're being around this kind of self. winners, yeah, winners, yeah, yeah, and it kind of gives you a, 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 a kind of gives you a, a, a direct path as well. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, let me let me take this a little bit more serious. Yeah, when did you turn pro? I think I was 26, 20, about 25, 26. So you've only been doing that a few years, yeah, pro? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think this is my, f- this, this, might be my, this might have been my fourth year. What age are you now? 29. 29, yeah, I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This might have been my so fourth four year now. Yeah. yeah. And you've reached those heights, 18 and all. Yeah. You should be world title when, next couple of fights, uh, next fight, uh, possibly? It can be, it can be. It can be. <laughs> I've been offered, offered, offered quite a big fight. Yeah. Um, but we don't know, we, you know, we, I've got an operation on my arm. Mm-hmm. Um, I've got that on Tuesday. Uh, so, I, I'm not in. I, I've got to a position now where I can. I'm not in no rush. So let me let me now build myself. Yeah, absorb. But yeah, you've done it the right way. Yeah. So are you still with the same team? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You owe, you don't owe, you owe them a lot. Then they've kind of they, that it, that it, man's yeah. seen potential in you yeah, when nobody yeah, yeah, else yeah. probably well, did. Pat, that was Pat. I was yeah, know Pat put me on the, his promotional shows. Um, he started. He started. He started his promotional show so he could take me and Zelfo, um put us on the small hall shows rather than put us on the big shows. So any mistakes we're going to make as a professional, we can make them behind, not on the telly kind of thing. So then when I got to like nine, 10, I know, it's like, right, you can go to Frank Warren now. And, mm-hmm. and that's what we did. And yeah. Sort of we, guided you well. How hard is it though when you start making that transition, getting well known, getting the recognition to come away from your friends? Like to try and stay on the path completely. It's not that you distance yourself from. Yeah, yeah. You don't speak to anyone, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's hard. How did yeah, you? Yeah, how did you deal with that? Because it's easy. It's easy to like. It's easy to. Oh, we're going out. You coming? Like, nah, I'm fighting. You know, I can't. I'm tra- I got training in the morning. I can't. You always have to remember us. And Tommy McDonald, he what he said this to me. He said, "It's all right going and partying with your friends. It's all right. It's all right. They're drinking. It's all right drinking. It's all right doing that. But you got to come gym Monday morning. No matter what you do." On Saturday, Friday, Saturday, you have to come gym Monday morning. Someone's gonna try and knock you out on Monday morning. That's how you kind of got to think of it. Mm-hmm. 
I might have to spar Monday morning. So no matter what I'm doing on the Friday or the Saturday, you have to get up and you have to go. Mm-hmm. That kind of gives you a mindset of, oh, I don't, do I really want to be feeling rough Monday morning? I might get hit with a circuit. No, yeah. don't. Just go and yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was, um, when you got your Commonwealth title, how was that feeling? That was a tough fight. <laughs> that was a tough <laughs> fight. Though. See, yeah. see, see, I got into a kind of a, 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 of a, of a false sense of, I'm going to knock everybody out kind of thing. Because I was, uh, until, until I fought him, I don't believe I fought anyone like, really that good kind of thing. I was not, I was hitting people and he was going down and they wouldn't get back up or they'd get carried out or I'd just beat them till, till, they, till they quit kind of thing. So when I fought him out and I thought, oh, it's a tough African kid. I thought it was going to be kind of the same thing. Like, I'm going to hit him. I'm going to beat him. I, just, I watched a few of his fights. He looks slow, he looks easy. Kind of underestimated him in my head. Take nothing away from him though. The one I got in there and I, and I, I remember throwing, I remember in the first round, of, my, to be fair, my left arm was injured. It did go in the changing rooms. It was the same thing as with my right arm. But anyway, no excuses. I went in there and I, I remember throwing a jab and he made me, and he missed, I missed. And he slipped it and I threw another one and he slipped it again and I thought, oh, it's going to be a long night. <laughs> I can't, I can't <laughs> eat. <Yeah. laughs> That's what I thought straight away. <laughs> and then he just gave me a barrage of attack, just punched me. I was thinking, wow. This is what boxing's like. Yeah, this is this is this is it. Now this is a tough fight, and then I put him down in the fourth round, and he got. And I thought he was gonna stay down, and he didn't stay down. He got back up, and started hitting me again. <laughs> I was like, nah, this is not what this yeah. is not what's supposed to happen. <laughs> supposed to be a ten mm-hmm. count, and then yeah, so anyway, I got through that. Um, twelve first times doing twelve rounds, and I got through that, and it's a kind of relief, kind of a relief, like right, I, I know. I kind of understand now. I've been eating idiots. It's not what boxing is going to be like. Kind of, it kind of puts you, humbles you a little bit. Like, you're not as good as you think you are yet, kind yeah. of thing. Still learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You still there. Don't get ahead of you. Don't get ahead yeah. of your pay grade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not, you're not there yet. So, yeah. that was uh, uh, an eye opener into, into my next level where I want to mm-hmm. go. But that's you getting into the yeah, world level, yeah. winning belts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. getting there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How was it winning a belt? It was good, but I, I, again, at the, at the same time, it's like I always, no matter what, even now, obviously, but I, I, I think I'm gonna be. I believe I'm gonna be a world champion. So it's not. It's just everything's just stepping stone, stepping stone, yeah. stepping stone, stepping stone, small steps yeah. until I get there. Mm-hmm. It's difficult though, isn't it, to, to keep working hard? But as long as you've got that belief and yeah, drive, you have to. You have to you've you got have to believe. You have to set your goals. Yeah. Hi, you can't set them. Yeah. To, you have to not be scared to set goals higher than you even believe you can achieve. To yeah. and, and, and books it told me that set your goals past yeah. what you think you can achieve because mm-hmm. you might. A Bugsy also told me this. He, he set his goals. He wanted to be. He wanted to get to a certain point. So he's trying for that point. He's working. He's working. He's working for that point. And he got there. And he's like, oh, "What do you know? I mean, so he, he achieved. It is that he achieved everything. Yeah. So you can't. So what I'm saying is, don't set your goals to achieve more goals. Set them to things you think are unachievable. Yeah. If your so dreams don't scare you. They're not big yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. when you get there. Oh, so, so, so in a sense, so you can kind of never get there. Yeah. You have to keep, you have to set your goals yeah. to, 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 to mass amount like, yeah. of things you want to achieve in life. So. And everything's doable. Yeah, 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 everything's yeah, yeah, limitless. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the beauty yeah, of yeah, life. Yeah, and that's yeah. the law of attraction that comes yeah. into play. You must believe you already have it. Yeah, yeah, and once yeah. you achieve it, write some new goals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep yeah, raising yeah. the keep, bar. Keep, keep, yeah, keep, keep, keep pushing. pushing yourself. Yeah. Keep pushing yourself. Keep putting yourself in a place of, of discomfort. He smashed it, Bugsy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He smashed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. For where he's came from, the battles, and yeah, obviously yeah. had his crash last year yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. And it's, yeah. uh, it's scary though. Yeah. Like, we can have all this shit, but your life can get took away yeah, as you like know. That, like that, that. You kind of got to at that point think, hey, let me just think, let me, let me keep smashing it, but let me enjoy Let me let me enjoy it. Life's short. Yeah. What do you do for enjoyment and stuff? Um, just chill, you know. Just chill yeah. with my friends. We play. Obviously, everyone plays PlayStation. Yeah. Everyone play PlayStation. We started playing poker. Poker. I'm getting. I'm getting all right at mm-hmm. poker now. I'm not too good. My some friends will laugh at me. Stack to yeah. boxing. I won, yeah, 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 yeah. I won a couple games now, so I feel like I'm higher. Man. Yeah. Now you're yeah, in poker. We do go kite. We obviously we're in lockdown, so it's fucking weird. It's yeah. tough. How are you dealing yeah. with it? Um. All right. All right. Um. I've I, 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 I got I say positive for the virus. Um. 
So obviously, I, I, I can, I'm an elite athlete, so I can still go to the gym, I can still get yeah. to the gym, I can still get in, I can still get in and train and stuff. So it's not been too bad. I've still been working in a sense because I still had a couple of fights in lockdown. Mm-hmm. The Dak Spellman fight was in lockdown and the Yard fight was in lockdown. So I'm still able to, I'm still in the, probably a better position than a lot of other people that might be struggling with it. Yeah, so, because mental health's through the roof yeah, now. Exactly. People are struggling. Yeah, 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 exactly. And, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it, it, I can understand it can be hard. I've, I've got something to keep me focused where I can understand they probably yeah. not as much as I have. How, have you, how were you dealing with your first fight with no fans? I enjoyed it. <laughs> I, I, I enjoyed yeah. it. I enjoyed it. Um, my coach, Pat, he'll tell me, you box better with no fans mm-hmm. because um, I like to... I talk to people outside the ring yeah. and I acknowledge people. Then Pat go mad at me. He goes mad. At me. What the fuck are you looking at them for? And stuff like that. So he's like, Nah, he, he box better without. Fans. I don't think we should bring fans back. Yeah. <laughs> so Pat saying, but mm-hmm. nah, I enjoyed it. It's it's different, isn't it? At the same time, you you have to kind of dismiss the crowd anyway, in a sense. So I can't can't really think too much into yeah. it. It's like no matter what, that person there is gonna try and knock me out. Be on end all of yeah. it, so I have to be focused. How did you have the job there when you were nineteen? Or was that something that you've worked on? Nah, it just it was you no. Know, it was just the first was the first punch you learn in boxing. Anybody in boxing will tell you that it's the first thing you learn, and it just it just came. He just I started punching me there, and he was just he got a good job. I remember um, Brian? He said he reminded me of Bob Foster. I didn't know who that was at the time, and Pat again was thinking where. Bob Foster, when I watch back, he's like you kind of see the similarities in it. But I just, I just worked on my job from from the first day I got in the gym, and it just mm-hmm. just happened to be good. The Yardley fight came, the biggest fight of your career. Yeah, massive underdog. Everybody kind of yeah, thought it would be easy for yeah. Yardley. He's a powerful man, big guy. But you've had ten knockouts as well. Tw- Twelve. Twelve. Oh, I've Twelve. just fucked that then. Thirteen in a minute. <laughs> I'll be number yeah. thirteen. <laughs> yeah, it's um. He came in and confident, quite rightly so. He's, he's put a lot of yeah. good people fighters in their ass as well. So how are you feeling being the underdog coming in and people kind of discrediting you? Um, Did that annoy you? No, a little bit, a little bit. It, more more from, it might be mind games, but more from his coach. More from his coach, because they, and, and, and probably him a little bit, because, but at the same time, you have to think like he, he was doing, of course. but at the same, but like, they was talking about me as if I was just going to be a, Push over. Boy, I just walk over me and it's like, uh, I'm not, it's not going to be as easy as you think it's going to be like a box and I can hit pretty hard. But it was, it was, but these, these, they're the kind of things that you keep, I probably needed that in a sense. Does that put doubt in your mind? Sometimes, even though you're confident and you always believe you're going to win, do you ever think, fuck, what if they're right? No. Nah? No, no. Is that just mind games? Yeah, yeah, I believe so. Again, I, I'll say I, I was always, I was always confident in myself that I could beat him from the minute that 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 that, that they put me and him together as as a, a potential opponent. I was always confident in that. Um, he's a he's a he's a good good strong fighter. So, but I just feel like a good box will always be a good fighter regardless. Um, so definitely, it was definitely a thought of my. I, I, I could this could be I could get knocked out here. Because he is powerful and he has got 18 knockouts and 19 knockouts. And it's funny because I actually said my, 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 to my, my son and my mum, I said, don't let him watch the fight. Just in case. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Just, not, 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 I didn't think I was going to lose, but like, I'm, I, you have to be real in it. You have to like kind of, if he clips me, he could, he could. This is, the, this is like, the, I, I, man, my Commonwealth title fight was a tough fight. That spell was supposed to be my hardest fight. This fight now, you, you might actually get clipped here. It, it can happen. It's boxing. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not in what in, in a sense thinking that it's gonna happen, but <clears throat> just in case, don't let my son watch it. That's what he kind of. That's what he kind of gave me. But that that that. But then that probably gave me a, that little bit of extra edge to be that little bit sharper to keep you on your toes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you think you can get into a fight too confident? Yeah, of course. And I think that's what he did. Do you think so? So I think that's what he did. So it was a split decision. Yeah. What were you thinking at the end? Did you did you know you'd win, or were you thinking? Either way, it when could go anyway. Give it 117, 111, and I lost for like six rounds. I thought, oh, they've, yeah, and they give it him, sorry, and I thought, oh, yeah, they've not given me this. Mm-hmm. And then it's one, then it's like one, one by one round, and it, but that was to me, and then the, set, the, set, the third card read that same card, and I thought, oh, they've, they might have given me it. And then when they've given me it, it's like, yeah. Yeah. 
Antonio. How was that feeling for you? Yeah, it was good. Yeah. You, see that, you see that when you watch, if you can watch the, the end of the fight, you can see like I was just like relieved. Mm hmm. To the, and again, not to the fact that I'd won because <clears throat> I always thought I was going to win, but I proved everybody wrong. Again? Again, and it was overwhelming. And that's why you and you watch it, but you'll see me sit down on the ropes and just... Taking it down and just look around. It's like acknowledging the people that was acknowledging me now. Yeah. And leaning around the ring and just clapping. And it's like, yes, I, I, I've, I've done what you thought I couldn't do. Mm-hmm. In such a short period, yeah. how does that then? Do you get emotional after a fight, knowing that other people are looking down on you, kind of supporting you mentality? That's just emotional, but not really emotional. Just, just happy. Yeah, emotion. It's emotion. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, you can, you can. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because obviously your mum watching, she must be buzzing, yeah, man. Like, yeah, yeah. It's them that enjoy it most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, be, yeah, yeah you yeah, can't, you yeah. can't. I don't, I, I don't I know. I don't yeah, know, but right. you kind of. I, I can't enjoy yeah. it as much as the, as the other person. Yeah. I mean, I'm happy and I'm inside, and and, and my friends up there watching, and, and yeah, them they're going mad, <laughs> screaming, screaming, <laughs> screaming. Uh, classic. They only had four or five yeah. people in there, but they were screaming like they were yeah. full arena. Mm -hmm. They're screaming when I've won, and it's like. They probably enjoy it, and in fact, I know they do because when I'm when I watch my friends fight, say Sonny or someone like when I'm watching him fight and he wins, I'm probably more excited than he is. So I understand the gate from from the outside of looking in. Yeah. When you're looking at someone that you're actually proud of, you are. You, I can imagine. Yeah, because if you're driving and got goals, and after that fight, you're just possibly thinking, where do I go next? Yeah, yeah, that's done now. Yeah. It's done. You're probably going to get reaped the rewards for the next week or two or three. The hype. The hype, yeah, but that novelty really dies off quick. Yeah. What about next? He's going to fight mm -hmm. next. Because in boxing, it's a naked sport and you're entertaining and, and, and the public, all right, you've done that now. And they might still comment and stuff like that. Yeah. They have social media now, but they want to, right, who's he fighting next? And in my next fight, I, probably be, I might be the underdog again. So the same people that think I'm good now will probably, oh no, but he's better though. The guy, I'm, I'm my next opponent, mm -hmm. so to speak, he's better, he's gonna knock him out. Most are you right back at the beginning. Yeah. How was it though, winning that fight? Because that must have enhanced your profile tenfold. Yeah, 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 most definitely. And, and, and All the attention, because I've seen your video on the news, just yeah, what yeah, you were yeah, doing. BBC, I was like, that's yeah, amazing, because yeah, 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 that yeah, is yeah. inspirational yeah, 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 for yeah. people watching. Yeah. The people will get inspiration from yeah, your story, yeah, of brother. Course, of course, of so course. So it's unbelievable. I'm, I'm, and I'm happy to give yeah. Even if it's just one person, you know what I mean. Like I said, like I said before, off camera, like a, a woman messaged me about the um, the, the, the the son where to kill us, kill himself, and he's a big fan of me. And just through watching me and watching a bit of my story and my YouTube videos and my stuff like that, he's, he's he's now not and he's now into boxing training. Yeah. And so it's like that 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 it's deep. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, that you it's, potentially it's other people look up to you that. You can save lives yeah. because people see inspiration that, wait a minute, he's been through a lot of shit, mm, but mm. yet he's on route to be bang on course to yeah, become world yeah, title yeah, yeah. holder. Can, and it gives them a sense of I can do, do it I mean? too kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's the plans for you now after that big fight? Where do you go? Do you, have you got your path planned out for the rest of the um, year? World title straight away? I don't know. I could, my, my team, my team will yeah, sort it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. They'll do it. All I do is train. train. What about potential going up to a heavyweight? Heavyweight? Andy Joshua, <laughs> <laughs> Tyson Fury, <laughs> nah, nah. them boys, them boys are big. I'm not, I don't yeah. know, I'm not big. Are you happy big. with light heavyweight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I, I can make the weight relatively easy. Robert Cruiser weight. They, could that they would the new weight now, wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. To call your weight. Um, it probably eventually it'd be a probably a, probably something I look at. But right now I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable where I am. Yeah, I like enjoying it. it. Yeah, I'm enjoying yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, you've got to win your titles yeah, there yeah, first yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. like, I, I, I'm comfortable like. Not comfortable in a sense, but making weight is always hard, but I can make it. So yeah. it's not nothing I'm thinking about, oh, I'm struggling. Yeah, because you look at, look. is it Yusik, he went from, is it cruiserweight? To up heavyweight. He took the jump. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, His yeah. fight, who did he fight there late, last fight? Just Derek Chisora. Uh, Big Chisora. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Done well, man, but I think if Chisora caught him, I, 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 I he can take a dig, though, yeah, that. he can, but Yusik. I don't know if he's going to able to play with the big boys no chance. Out there. I don't I don't think so. I'm not a boxing yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not a coach or anything, but for watching it, my toppings worth it. I just think Tyson Fury's too good yeah. than now. Yeah, I, I, I would be honest. I, I, I just think he's a different yeah, yeah. animal. I'm a fan of I'm a fan of, of, of the top of the heavyweights, but Tyson Fury, I feel like he's he's got the edge on everyone. Yeah. He's, it's just, I don't know, it's mentality, it's the brain, yeah, it's his, his mindset. I love what his dad says as well. 
about like all the fame and the attention. He kinds of deals with it well he's, and all the money. He's, he's, he's the same kind. He's been yeah. through the same kind of thing where he's had to deep depression and, yeah. and stuff like that. And yeah, it's he's, 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 yeah. to come back from. And you know what? I'm still shocked how I got up from the wild, the knockdown in the twelfth round. Yeah, still thinking that like. How'd you get hit off somebody like Deontay yeah. Wilder in the 12th round of a uh-huh. fight and get up still? So it's, you know. You should have won that fight. But that, I believe so as well. But that, that just shows what kind of person he's inside yeah. to be able to, to, to overcome so much what he's done. Yeah. And still, still do that in such a short space of time mm-hmm. while coming back. But that goes to show the mentality of the mind. That's if you keep say, believing yeah, yeah, and keep straight, working yeah, hard, they, they, but that just everybody show. doubted him as well. Yeah, 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 even yeah. though he's went to Germany and fucking beat Klitschko in his own yard, even yeah. though Wilder, he was, he was underdog. Yeah, because I yeah. think he was only like two, maybe three fights back yeah, after yeah. four and years of being bang on the booze and challenge. Three-year binge, three-year binge, three-year binge. One of the longest weekend and parties ever. Yeah, 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 I'm going to fight Wilder. Yeah. <laughs> still, and they believed still, yeah, yeah, and yet yeah, yeah. he schooled them first time and absolutely schooled them the second yeah, time yeah, yeah. how are you dealing with like, I've had many boxers on now with the like, politics side of things there's a lot of people always try to fuck you over and you just like your team deal with that have you got a solid team around you yeah 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 solid team so but much I, politics I, I, yeah, involved there is, there is, there is. I, I'm, I'm great for, I'm, I'm lucky enough to not have had to deal with any of that yeah. so to speak yeah. mm-hmm. so I might, it might come it might come and I might I might hate boxing through, 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 through that, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I've, I've been lucky enough to not have to yeah. deal with any of that yet. Um, but as you say, when you get, you, when you level, keep levelling mm-hmm. up, you keep levelling up, it, it's going to come. Yeah. I can imagine it come because there is a lot of politics in boxing. Yeah. I hear about it because mm-hmm. I'm in it, so. But now you're becoming, like you says, you have just levelled up there. Yeah. You become a, yeah. Def, you become a target for yeah, all the sharks. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're obviously streetwise, so yeah. you know. Yeah. Plus you've got a knockout punch. Yeah, 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 you know, <laughs> yeah. Might level it up a little yeah. bit, you know what I mean? So. What about America? See yourself fighting there? Oh, that's what, yeah, I want to ask my dream. Is that? Yeah, 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 I want to fight in it. MGM Grand or, or the Madison Square Gardens. Or so, some, that's what I, I thought fight. I'd love to fight over there. Well, that's coming. Yeah, no, yeah, okay, yeah. Fuck. So well, someone from America actually called me out straight after my fight. Did they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, oh, I'm getting noticed now. Yeah. All right, then. Uh-huh. <laughs> I me. Mean, but um, yeah, no, nah, America. I want to definitely want to fight in America. What about football stadiums? Yeah, Manchester. Traf- 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 Man U fan. Man Traf- yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> sky, Sky, we're top of the table. Yeah. 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 Like, uh-huh. I got forgot for City friend fans that that, that think City going. Where the fuck is that came from? Yeah. It was only like six weeks ago that yeah, one sold Shah's head. I know, I know, I know. All is that all he's driving now. But this is the thing we already done the same with Ferguson. Ferguson, I think, was only one game or two games away from getting sacked. Yeah. And they ended up winning and he turned it all round. Yeah, you, you have to give it time. Yeah. You have to give it time. When you lose someone as big as and as good as Ferguson was, um, you can't get somebody straight away. Yeah. You have to get somebody chance. And I'm not, I'm not saying Ollie's the person, but he's, he's doing he's all right. proving it now, but yeah. you've got to understand that if Ollie wins the league, then he's potentially the next Manchester United manager for 10 to 20 years. Yeah. He's not just a short fix. Yeah, 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 he's yeah. going to learn the craft because United's in his blood. Yeah. So he could and potentially... And he's just brought Carrick and Fletcher in. Yeah. So... Oh, no, sorry. Not brought Carrick in, he's just brought Fletcher in. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, man, it's... Hopefully, because <laughs> it's been it's been painful. It's that, been painful, yeah. is it? Like these last what six, seven, eight years, it's been mm-hmm. it's been horrible being a United fan. But to be at the top for twenty years when Ferguson was there, do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, 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 the yeah, tables yeah. do turn, but yeah. then they go round again. Yeah, they do. That. That's, 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 that's the funny thing again. about them tables; they always turn. Yeah, so I'm I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm here for it. Yeah. So potentially though, you could be walking out full stadium with a belt. <sighs> This year, once every all the fans get back, oh, obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait for the fans to mm. come back. Um, but that would be great that because be great. you know what the fans are like. Manchester, same as Liverpool, Glasgow, even the Irish, they, they support their own. You yeah. look at Ricky Hatton. Yeah, he had a great fucking base. hell. Great Fifteen, twenty thousand to yeah, Vegas. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean, the guys didn't even go there to get in the arena. They just went there to for the atmosphere, yeah. to be in the pubs or the, mm. the bars and stuff like that. And watch the fight. So, I, I'd, I'd love to be able to take some if not all some of it some of that yeah. fan base or some of that some of that support what he had even Anthony Crawler love Crawler that's what I mean I, oh, I love, such I a nice guy yeah, man such a, uh, such a nice yeah. person and I've been to many of Crawler's fights I was there when he won the world title I think and when he fought for it anyway I was I was, I was, I was definitely there and the, the, the arena mm-hmm. it's mad it's mad and you think I'd love to do I'd love to be able to, to, yeah. to bring a crowd like this to an arena one day and have 
people singing for me like that and they're doing it's it's kind of like well color come from color from austin yeah it's from where i'm from yeah. so it's, it's definitely doable mm -hmm. and it kind of gives it kind of gives me as like my inspiration i don't know any heavy, uh, light heavyweights or heavyweights from manchester was um, there many has there been many there's a couple you have your jose bear and he's from manchester um mm -hmm. But apart, but like I say, there's not really, yeah. there's not really many. But Crowley, um, what, a, what a, again? He even admits it. He wasn't the best fighter, but what, what an, an amazing career. Yeah, he worked hard. Yeah. He worked hard. You know? he had tables to turn. He yeah. to, you know, he, he got beat off a journeyman in the early, in yeah. the early parts of his career, and he, and he come back and, he, and he's a world champion to filling out arenas in, in, in his hometown, of course. Because he, of course. he did say that that he lost fights at the start. Yeah, again, yeah, never yeah, quit. Yeah. Always believed. Such a nice guy. Every boxer I've interviewed, you know what? I've been absolutely on the money yourself. Yeah. Crawler, Josh Warrington, Tony yeah. Bellew, yeah, yeah. Uh, Willie Lemon, Scottish guy, just good fucking guys, man. Yeah, just yeah. no bullshit, just working hard and, and trying to make a career of yeah, himself. But yeah. a, a Crawler's a, a, just a nice fucking guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a nice yeah, guy, yeah, mate. Yeah, you could yeah, just yeah. sit, I don't drink, but if I was going to go for a pint, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would go with for Crawler. You sit with Crawler <laughs> and you have a drink. Yeah. yeah, like you said, and everyone likes him. Everyone likes him. It's, it's hard to be. A likable guy, mm -hmm. you know. Everyone's got someone to say about you, but I've never heard anyone say a bad yeah. word about Quello. Yeah. So, yeah, he's, he's he's a good person. What's your plans for the future? Then I know you you want to set new heights, new visions, new dreams. What's your plans? Your goals? I just want to be a world champion and defend it multiple times, mm -hmm. and and be one of Manchester's f greatest boxers, light heavyweights, to come out of of of, of here, of my hometown. Um, that's it. Make my mum proud. Probably buy my mum a house if I can ever do that. Um, I just want to succeed. You know, I got I got kids, so I've got like, for them as well. How many kids mm, you got? I got two. Many mums. What? The <laughs> same mum? I got no, I got two. I got two. I've got two, two, two different yeah. mums. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I asked, bro. <laughs> I had two girls pregnant yeah, at the yeah. same time, man. Uh, yeah, five months yeah, apart. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not, I don't know about that life there. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> no, it doesn't make you a bad person. Like nah, I say, nah, it's, nah, I love my kids, man. Yeah, it's, uh, it's like, I just, you just know that feeling that if somebody's got a couple of kids, then you go, <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> Which is, which is difficult. What have you been through? <laughs> <laughs> You've kind of got the same traits, yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, that is difficult, but again, it's the pressure and to make um, people proud. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. I'm doing. I do everything. You've got to do everything for yourself first yeah, and foremost yeah, 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 yeah. to get to levels. But it's the people around you, then the kids to look up to. You want your son yeah. to be going. Yeah, yeah, I want yeah. to be like my daddy. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, want yeah. to see him winning titles. Yeah, 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 for that black yeah. moment when you've got photos up in your wall, you can look back twenty years and say, do you know what, man? I've I've had a good yeah, life. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. we work hard and. I always try and tell people to enjoy the journey, but it's difficult because I've got goals and I've got finishing lines in my head that I want to achieve. Yeah. But even when I do achieve them, I don't. It doesn't fulfil you. Yeah, you can never, you can never, you never. You, you, I was saying before, we'll never be happy until we can actually take a look from outside the box when we've finished or retired to think, oh, I actually did all right there. Yeah, like you say, we're in it, we're in it now, and and like the hard fight. It was a great, it's a great milestone for me. I've great, I've, I've, I've beat one of the best boxers to come out of Britain. One of the most dangerous, powerful boxes I beat him, but and to everyone else, it's a huge thing. But to me, it's like I, I thought I was gonna do that anyway. But what next? Mm -hmm. um, I, that's it. It's, it's done now. I need to go forward. It's not where I want to be. It's not where I'm nearly even thinking about being. I want to be a world champion, and I want another world title belt. So that's just a stepping stone. So I can't really, can't really look at it and enjoy yeah. it. Who would you like to fight? I did. Next or like yeah. in, 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 in general, if you were to pick one fight, fight to Old Trafford, who would it be? To, to, to fill a world title, doesn't matter who it is, yeah, whether it's vacant or whether someone's got it, fill a world title. It's coming, bro. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, fucking it's coming. It's in arms reach now. Yeah, and 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 yeah. when you when you just started boxing, you think, yeah, I'm gonna be a world champion, and you, you always think it, but you think you always kind of think, can I really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then when you get here. No, yeah, you've been up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's, it's there, it's mm -hmm. there, it's there. So it's in it's in arm's reach. How would you have built? How would you have felt if you'd lost that fight? I'd have been hurt. I'd have been gutted. I can't say I'd be gutted more than Yard, but he's still got he's built his profile already, so he'll be able to come back from from that where it would have been a little bit harder for me 
because nobody knew me and everyone thought I was going to lose anyway. So I'm like, oh, he's not as good as everyone thinks. It's not, it's not, it's not even good, not even everyone thinks he was because nobody apart from the people around me and me, the people thought I was good. So that for, for losing that fight would have been would have been a little bit hard to come back. Why from. were you not getting the credit? Why were you, why was there always no idea? Why because you would have, you had just seventeen and all then? Probably, yeah, eighteen. So yeah, seventeen and all. And probably I'd, I'd only boxed Emmanuel and him, Dex Bellman, sorry as well. Dex a good fighter. Dex though. a good fighter exactly, and, and and that was supposed to be my hardest fight. I made it look easy, respectfully. I made it look easy, and then. I don't, know, I don't know. I don't know. The bookies had me with nine to two, four to one, forty to one split decision decision uh, win. I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah. No idea. But that, see when you do win, is that like a like a fuck you? Yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, go on, go on. <laughs> Bet against me again. Yeah. Go on, go on, yeah. go on. But mm-hmm. do you know what? So, and it was all it was good as well because I swear down I had about three, maybe four hundred messages saying. I put money on you. You 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 got you done Christmas for me. Yeah, I pay for a lot of people's Christmases. Yeah, yeah. That was nice. People were eating good. Yeah, at Christmas. yeah. People yeah, were eating yeah, good yeah. at Christmas. Even a lot of my friends. Uh huh. Want a good few thousand pounds. So mm-hmm. after I'm good, I didn't really put a bet on myself to win. If I'm honest, mm-hmm. but you know, here's what it is. You're known as a king. Is it king? King. King London yeah, Arthur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you get come about with that name? Yeah, I'm, I can't remember my name. My, name, my last name's Arthur. So mm-hmm. King Arthur. It just made sense. Yeah. In it. Yeah, it does make sense. Yeah, it That's a sense. fucking stupid question. Yeah, 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 it makes <laughs> sense. In it. Yeah. yeah. Um, actually, but the, um, Alex Arthur, yeah, from, Scottish, yeah, yeah, he Edinburgh. Me, he's, he's mes- yeah, he's messaging me. He's messaging me. Like, yeah, Alex, yeah, a good yeah, guy, yeah, good yeah, pal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's messaging me. Um, he's got the same name. He has mm-hmm. the same name as me. Great fighter as well. He's messaging me like, your kings need to meet and yeah. so Anytime I'm in Scotland, I probably will hit him up. Because I've got Josh Taylor on as well, Scottish. Oh ah, yeah, I don't know, he's another great. Oh, he's, he's, he's just elite. elite. He just yeah, tell he's going to be some, something you know different. I I'd never seen him. I've seen him in. Um, the Commonwealth Games I think I've seen him in the Commonwealth Games where I've Commonwealth Games and then I watched him on TV and I thought wow mm-hmm. he's serious serious I was a fan of him from then soon as this first fight I've seen him I just thought I'm going to watch him do you watch all the fights as well when you get yeah, time yeah any fight that, any fights any, any boxing that's on yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's a good speaker on that as well so even after boxing and shit many years like so much opportunities come from it like presenting jobs because yeah. there's fights all over the world yeah, yeah, yeah. do you know what I mean where people it's, it's a mega sport now. It's just huge. next level. Yeah, it's become yeah. it's became bigger and it's got bigger. Obviously, I think Eddie Hearn and stuff play a massive part yeah, in that. Yeah, Paul and Joshua. Joshua. And Joshua. Um, they've done well to how to promote it and take it down different yeah. avenues. But so obviously everybody loves the boxing. Yeah, it's yeah, obviously yeah. without it. It's a great entertainment yeah, sport, it's isn't it? Entertainment. It's, people, as humans, man, we just as crazy as it is, we like to see people getting hurt yeah, as well. It's, it's, <laughs> Mad, yeah. Yeah. Even boxers were a bit tapped in there yeah. too. Always, all, yeah, all yeah. fighters, all combat yeah. sport fighters, like you've got to be a little bit stupid in there to to enjoy getting yeah. hit in the face. Do you ever get scared or anything? Scared of just like getting injured or yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, when you see it's don't really happen a lot, but when you when you hear boxers dying, it's like oh, I'm in that sport. You know what I mean, yeah. like it can probably happen. It can probably happen. Mm-hmm. You know I mean, it takes your brain and your skull. It's not you can get hit. Get put down, you can bang your head, and that's it. Yeah, just like Gerald McLennan, um, the guy, the guy you bank for, did Michael they, Watson. Yeah, um, it's, it's possible that can happen. Obviously, yeah. there's a lot more um, health and safety, health and checks. safety now, and stuff like that. But it's, it's still, we still, we still in there, and it's still, it's still, there's still fighters dying and stuff like that. So it is kind of scary and stuff. You, you come away from sparring, you might have a little headache, and that's yeah. this sport for me. I really want to go. Yeah. There's times where you come from sparring and he's like, you might have had a bad spa. I like, oh, don't even know if I want to box anymore. Split seconds thoughts, but it's like, it's scary. Yeah, it's the scary. doubt yeah, keeps yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, What's your training bit. camp like? How long do you do it for? Eight weeks? It depends. It's weeks. The, hard, the hard one was only for like four and a half, five Yeah, that was, a early, that was a early one, wasn't it? Not even so much of that. Like, we knew about it for like eight weeks, but I got coronavirus. I could test it so positive. Train. So I had to not train for like two weeks of 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 of, of the camp, and I was like, oh, can I? <laughs> Did that not happen? Yeah, 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 doubt in yeah, your yeah. Head? I was like, yeah. oh, can I, oh man, I'm, I'm gonna. Die. <laughs> I just started camping and I felt ill. And then no, sorry, I was I was I was ill. Um, I was ill for like two days, like bed bound. And I thought, and I was coughing, I was coughing. I thought about five days later, I got over it, and I went and got tested. Cause I, I thought I had to, um, 
and you come back positive. And this was like six and a half weeks before the fight. I have to go on quarantine for 10 days, 14 days, so I have to do that. He's like, oh, fucking So you lost weeks. But again, that could have helped you because then it would have yeah, kept that, yeah, 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 yeah. So everything, everything, everything it happens for a reason. Everything for a reason. Yeah. Like, I'm a strong believer in mm-hmm. that. Everything happens for a reason and everything will sort itself out. So. Yeah. What's meant to be will be. Exactly. For anybody that's watching, brother, that's maybe wanting to start boxing or maybe going through a struggle, maybe lost a loved one, um, that's maybe battling with some sort of mental health, what advice would you give for them? Yeah, just yeah, just, just start. Start if you want to start, but just start. It's, it's, again, it's never too late. It will it will take your mind off things. It will it, it can give you a path, it, it can give you self defence if, if you you know, if you're going through whatever you're going through, I think boxing can help. Not even just boxing or like and just be in the gym. You be you can be around new people. You can be around. You can find new friends. You know, it's just two people to talk to. That like, source of strangers, maybe. Yeah. You know what I mean, that you might need it. It's just boxing helped me. So I, I will always speak of boxing. That's the highest form of of a thing that I've I've used to 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 change my life around. Um. So I know at first hand that it can it can definitely help in regards to them kind of things. There, mm-hmm. just get in the gym. One million yeah. percent. Just, just go and do it. You don't have to fight. You don't have to do it. You just go and go there. Go and enjoy it. Go and let something out. It can be. A, it can be a mind settler. Yeah, fair play. Listen, brother. Phenomenal career so far. You've proven all the doubters wrong. Yeah. World title this year, and for coming on today and telling your story. No Honestly, I appreciate it, and can't wait to see you winning the world title, brother. Yeah, God bless you, mate. Thank you. Check out more of my podcasts on the right and be sure to like, share and comment your thoughts on this week's podcast. Thank you.